Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I am super excited because as you see this beautiful woman next to me, I get to introduce you guys to my bride. And this is Hannah Condry, who will soon, in two days, be Hannah Cooper, which is just like mind blowing. I remember when I first met this just wonderful human being over here. And um, man, it's been an incredible year and a half with her. And I just, I cannot believe that in two days, I'm going to get to change her name. And she's going to walk with me by my side for the rest of my life. And that is that's exciting. So I wanted to take a few minutes, tell you guys about her a little bit, you know, just, you know, introduce you to her. If you haven't noticed on Instagram and social media, um, Facebook, Twitter, I've talked about her a lot. I've posted pictures of her. Um, you've probably seen her pretty face before. And if you haven't, that means you're not following me on social media. And that's, that's not cool. You need to follow me on social media so you can see all my posts. But, uh, Anyway, um, two days from now, I will be marrying her, and I wanted to introduce you to her. I also wanted to talk about life a little bit. Because I'm getting married in two days, there will be a span of a few weeks where I am busy on my honeymoon, having a great time, going on a vacation, and devoting all my attention to this lovely person right here. So because of that... If you see a change in social media, like I don't comment back as much, or I don't answer your question, or I don't respond to an email, I'm sorry about that. She deserves my attention on our honeymoon, so I'm going to give it to her 100%. And that's what's going on right there. But other than that, we are just so excited to um, just get married and, and have, a, have a great time and start this life together. Um, I know you're probably thinking, does she talk? She does talk. I promise you we're about to get to that point. Um, but she is also very new to this whole camera thing. She told me earlier this was really awkward to like talk to a camera and not actually be talking to someone. And, you know, I thought about it and it is kind of weird to just sit here and talk to a little camera and be like, hey, what's up, camera, even though it, like I'm talking to a person. So I totally get that. But anyway, um, we are just super blessed to have you know, found each other. And, and God has really put someone who's incredible in my life to uh, to be by my side, to make me a better person and to encourage me and support me and eventually um, make awesome babies and, and kids and, and grow up and just have an incredible family together. So we're super excited. excited. We're excited. I don't even know what that means, but we're excited <laughs> about it. But we're super excited and we're just ready to start our life together. We're also... Um, trying to get a house right now so that we can have a place for me to play drums because apartments don't work uh, for drums. You guys know that. I know some of you are in apartments and probably hate the fact that you can't have drums. So we're working on getting a house and it's really, really awesome. We've been so blessed and it's it's been incredible so far. Um, if you're feeling really super generous and you love the videos and you want to help out a little bit, I will put our wedding registry down in the description there. You can go and check out some of the things we need for our house and stuff. We will get fine without it. If, uh, but if you're feeling really generous, there's that or a donation link. If you just want to, you know, help pay for a meal while we're on our honeymoon or something, you know? So Thank you so much for all, all of that support. Now we want to get to the Q&A, and I know you want to hear her beautiful voice. She is a singer, if you didn't know that already. I'm not going to sing the answers to the She's questions. She's not going <laughs> to sing the answers to the questions, though. You're not? No. We talked about it before. That's a lie. We didn't talk about it before. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Do you know how this works, Hannah? Yeah, I think I know how it works. All right, well, let's try it. Okay. What's the first question? First question is, how did you guys meet? And that question is from Baileyan underscore Rich. So I'm talking about, she knows you got to give credit where credit is due for the question there. So Baileyan Rich, thank you for the question. Now I forgot it already. What was it? How did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? Okay. Well, we met at church mm -hmm. and it was awesome because she's a singer and I'm a drummer. And I could leave it at that and say that that's how we met, but the story is pretty cool. Um, 
or it's I don't know. It's funny. It's, it's funny. It's more funny than cool, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I think everything's cool when it has to do with her, so I always say the word cool. But anyway, I came to rehearsal one night, and she was singing, and I was drumming at this rehearsal. And even though she'd gone to the church for a little while, I'd never seen her before. Because if I'd seen her before, I would have known that I would have seen her before, and I would have done anything I could to find out who she was, because I was instantly just full-blown like, oh my gosh, what is that incredibly beautiful girl over there doing not talking to me? Like, I, I just, I have to talk to her. I just hide well. She does. That's, apparently she hides well. It's just crazy because you're so tall. But anyway, so I'm like, whoa, who is that? And so <laughs> I go over and I start making a bunch of lame jokes, which, you know, you guys have watched my channel long enough. You probably know that I make lame jokes and I think I'm funny, but... So I go up, I'm like, oh, hey, you gonna you gonna play some drums tonight or something like that? And she's like, oh, you gonna sing? And I'm like, huh. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna worship if I'm singing tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> so I made a bunch of jokes and uh, then I, I go back and we start rehearsal and I'm like, man, she's really pretty. And I'm just like looking at her just like, wow, where'd she come from? And uh, you came from North Carolina, right? Um, I was born there. Yes. <laughs> Why was that question so difficult? <laughs> I came from my mother's womb. I, I didn't know what you meant by that because I didn't like come to freedom from North Carolina. You well, know? I, I know, but I was just like, where'd you come from? It was, it was supposed to be funny. It's, no, see, funny. there's one of those lame jokes. Uh, if I leave this in here, you guys are going to see one of those lame jokes that I made. Okay, so, um, yeah, so then we start playing and she starts singing. And at that point, I was just like, this girl is already stealing my heart and I'm in trouble here. So <laughs> from that point on, I went and tried to give her a bunch of high fives because I'm real dorky and lame and just wanted to give high fives all the time. And uh, then I started talking to her on Facebook. You know, got to go Facebook stalk her a little bit. Cause, yeah, I'm uh, just glad somebody was talking to me. So, so there we have it. That's how it started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is... Do you think the married life will affect the rate of your videos? And that one is from Lee underscore Drew it. Drew it. What up, Lee? Um, no, I don't think it will affect the rate of videos. And one thing that will be a good example of this is even though I'm going on my honeymoon and I will not be on YouTube or social media really that much at all, I'm still going to have new videos for you guys just as frequently or maybe even a little more frequently than it has been lately. So... Um, really excited about that. And the thing is, is like, this is what I do. This is what I love. And she knows that. And like, when you meet someone who you want to spend the rest of your life with, you want to support them in what they love and what they do. And so she's so supportive and so encouraging. And, um, I mean, yeah, there'll be a few times that she like, you know, thinks that social media or something stealing my, her, my attention away from her, but it's like, she, she wants to support it. 100%. I love you guys, too. Yeah, she does. She's so sweet. <laughs> okay, and the next question is, what is the sweetest thing Casey has done? And that one's from B-R-1-N-E-E. -E. Hmm. Brittany? What is the sweetest thing that I have done? Well, oh, that's that's for you. Yeah, that's for me. Okay, um, you can answer that one. You can't, you can't answer nothing. He really doesn't ever do anything sweet. He's... Not yeah. very nice. That's that's what I figured she would answer. I'm just kidding. I, I don't even know the sweetest thing you've ever done because everything you do is really sweet. Because you're oh. just really sweet. <laughs> We're going to make these people like click the exit button on their <laughs> on their YouTube browser. No, oh, getting a phone call in the middle of the video. That's a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> Should I answer it? You can. Okay. We're talking to her brother right now. Hello. I'm making a video. You're on YouTube right now. Example. Well, guys. Of how nice you are. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Chick-fil-A now. Her brother works at Chick-fil-A. He's like really Can we like shoot the video really while sweet. we're going to Chick-fil-A? Yeah, we can We can take them to Chick-fil-A. I don't know where our shoes are, so let me um, go get his shoes. Can you pause that or does it just have yeah, to be Yeah, no, we'll pause it. So Hannah just ran inside to get shoes because her brother needs shoes at work. So... 
We're going to take shoes and Chick-fil-A in the middle of our Q&A here. Let's do it. Now it's recording. Gotta get a shot of your face. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. This is the dwarf house where all the dwarves live. <laughs> Her brother's oh, look, a dwarf. He's right there. Brother. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, that's probably not right, but that's okay. Sorry. Yes! Those, those are the shoes you're looking for? Yes! So happy! You're gonna be on YouTube. Why? <laughs> yes, thank you, I love you. Y'all are the Alright, so the shoes have been delivered, the day is saved. What is the next question, Hannah? Okay, so the next question is Do you want to have kids? And that's from Peter underscore Stoltz. Hmm. Yes, I wanna have kids. I'm one of seven, and I love babies, and all I've ever wanted was kids, and I just want to be a wife and a mother. I love kids. Can't wait to have kids. Might wait a couple years, might not. We'll see. I mean, <laughs> have you seen her? Just a little mini her, or a little baby boy. Mm, I just, there's no way to say no to that. And then... You know, put some little drumsticks in their hands and put them on a snare drum, take a little picture, and they're the cutest little thing. We'll have a little mini Cooper planet. drummers. Little mini Cooper drummers. <laughs> and maybe we'll get them all little mini Coopers to drive around. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But that is a definite yes on that question. Okay, and the next one is What are the best qualities of each other? So, what's my best qualities and what's your best qualities? That one is from Victor. Poles. Victor's Poles? Victor's Poles? <laughs> Victor's Pulse, I think is what that's supposed to be. Poles, I don't know. Anyway, Victor's Poles. Hannah has plenty of great qualities. I would say one of her best is her honesty, which at times that can be fun, you know? Like when I try and sing, she's way too honest about how <laughs> bad I am at it. But it's also really awesome to to have someone in your life that can be completely real with you and like isn't afraid to tell you what's up and like it's good because it helps you grow it helps you learn it helps you build it helps you become a better person when you're not afraid to communicate and, and tell the truth and then past that I mean her her passion her just love for people and for just being so kind and, and she has an incredible heart so I would say her heart is also an incredible quality of hers. Yeah. Uh, I'm in agreement with Casey. Like, everything about him is great. But for me, I would say he's just so selfless. Like, I've never met someone so selfless. Like, an example of I hesitated to bring my brother's shoes, but he would never hesitate to do anything for anybody. And he's just super sweet. And uh, I just love him. We're having a moment here, just uh, <laughs> one second. <laughs> All right, next question. Okay. Um, how did you propose? And that's from hd.kelly. How did I propose? Well, I rented a 747 airplane and I parachuted <laughs> out of it on top of a mountaintop where I caught an eagle and I put the ring in the eagle's grasp and then sent the eagle down to her and I parachuted, no, I didn't do that. Uh, <laughs> the budget for that's a little bit high. Um, I did propose it to Steven Spielberg though, but um, for the actual proposal, I wanted to surprise her, even though she knew that eventually I was gonna ask her, um, cause we talked about it. And um, so I had to surprise her. And what I did is I went under the guise of photo shoot because I wanted to get photos and videos. Cause as you guys know, Photos and video are uh, like so important to me. And so I wanted to have great photos and great video of this moment. And so I created the story that my best friend and brother and um, fellow 
guy who works with me. Um, he's <laughs> that was I don't know I where I'm going maker. here. Vi he, yeah, video maker. He he does a lot of like video stuff for me, design stuff, things like that. Um, his name's Zach Storino, and uh, he actually. Um, I made the story up that he was going to give me a photo shoot for Hannah and I for my birthday because I asked her to marry me on my birthday, which was awesome. Best birthday present ever. I highly recommend it. If you have the chance to ask someone to marry you on your birthday, go ahead because it's awesome. <laughs> In fact, this next birthday, ask someone to marry you and it's gonna, <laughs> they'll probably don't do that. But yeah, so then I took her to Amicalola Falls in front of this beautiful, beautiful waterfall and I pretended that we were just taking pictures and then I started shaking like an earthquake was happening and I couldn't really get my words out very well and she thought I was gonna pass out yeah at that point I was just like ask me she didn't, didn't she say, didn't say it, that but so that would have been rude and I would have had to be like yeah, sad but. I knew it was coming at that point yeah and so that was when I finally got it out, and I have video of it. I might throw in a little bit of the video. We'll see. Um, if you're lucky, I might show a little bit of it. So, you know, it's personal, but I think that it's beautiful, and uh, I'm just so proud to be this woman's husband in two days, so that's exciting. Next question. This one is from John Lambino. Lombano. Lombano, sorry. Casey knows. I know John. He's, he's commented a few times on the pictures. It's always been awesome. So, How much more than all the success you have in music or will ever get in life does finding a wife slash husband mean to you? Well, that's not even close because success isn't going to ever, like, you know, make you happy. Like, it's never going to completely fulfill you. Like, it doesn't matter how many views are on my next video I would trade all that away to know that I have the woman that God has for me in my life. Like, there's a difference. Like, you know, finding someone to spend forever with or however long, you know, like if, if you're not all that serious about it and you're just like, oh, this is a person, like maybe it's not the same thing, but when you know that you have the person that God has picked out for you and put in your life, like at that point, it's just, there's nothing compares to knowing that I get to spend the rest of my life next to this woman and have children with her and just, you know, fulfill God's purpose in our lives together and, and build each other up and, and everything. It's so exciting. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It is. From Tanner Mayhew, who is a better drummer? Me, obviously. We don't, like, post about it because if we were to post about it, then everyone would start following her and no, everyone would stop following me and I'd be really sad. So we don't tell any. Okay. Just kidding. No. I no. don't play drums. I'm a singer. She's a singer. I used to want to be a drummer when I was little, but I stuck to singing. He's awesome, though. So we're like a singer-drummer duo here. Yeah. I don't know if there's any bands that just have singing and drumming, but uh, maybe yeah. in the future. Maybe. <laughs> this one is from my friend Emily. I don't really know how to say your Instagram name, but is I that, love you. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's cheating the system to, to pick your friend's questions, Hannah. Well, she asked so many questions, you know, I had to. Okay, all right. is, it, is it a good question? I think it's a great question. Okay, what is it? If Hannah was a drum, which one would she be? If Hannah was a drum... Which one would she be? <laughs> that is a good question. Think on it. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a good question. There's there's answers to that question. Well, mm, if Hannah was a drum, she would be the kick drum because she's got a nice bottom end, and. Uh, <laughs> She probably hates me for saying that, but I, I mean, I appreciate beauty, and uh, I think that's probably the best answer to that question because, I mean, yep. boom, that's, that's good. boom. That's good. <laughs> to follow up that question, what's your favorite worship song to sing slash play? Yes. Um, what is? I would say... My favorite right now to play is Close by Lauren Daigle. In fact... Really? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. See? <laughs> and like, 
no offense to Lauren Daigle, it's incredible when she sings it, but Hannah sings it and we play it together sometimes. You and may be only like slightly biased. I might be biased. I don't know. Hannah does it incredibly well and it's so amazing when I get to worship with her and and play that song. So if you haven't seen my drum cover, you should check it out. It's a great song with a killer groove and I hope to put up a video with her singing it sometime soon. I think we're going to play it down in Florida at this D now that we're doing. Um, it won't be drum set, it'll be like cajon and more acoustic style, but sometime I'm going to get a video of her freaking sounding incredible on that song and me playing some drums and just so much worship happens in that. It's so good. Okay, so the last question is from Jason underscore McCollum and he is asking, does the drumming get annoying? Yeah, does the drumming get annoying? Watch over the mic! Oh no! <laughs> I guess it gets annoying because it ruins everything. It ruins everything. Just it doesn't kidding. ruin everything. Okay. You want right, me to restart that since you dropped the mic? No, that's funny. Drop the Drop mic. Drop the mic. <laughs> the drumming does not get annoying to me. Annoying. Um, probably because I love music. And so that I'm just proud that he's a lover of music. Well, she told me that normally she does get annoyed by drumming, but since mine is good that she likes it. Well, yeah. So he's a good drummer. If it if she said if if I didn't sound like good at all and it was like offbeat, she would she would not like it. So yay for for timing. Practice with your metronome, ladies and gentlemen. That will uh, that will get you props later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I think that's it. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. This was a new experience for Hannah. She mm -hmm. she let me know multiple times beforehand that this, this was really uncomfortable experience of my life. Really awkward and uncomfortable for her. She's not used to talking to but cameras. this one is for you guys. Yeah, but see how much she cares? She did this <laughs> for you guys. And so I'm so thankful that you have joined me here. I am so blessed to have her in my life. And I'm so excited for the future. So excited for the wedding. So excited to share pictures with you guys. And all that fun stuff. And, uh, you know, one last little plug here. But if you're feeling really generous and want to help, uh, help the couple out, links in the description for our wedding registry and uh, um, donations but uh, that's two days just... I'll be Mrs. Cooper drummer yes Mrs. Cooper drummer that's awesome that sounds really cool you should get that on your birth certificate <laughs> Mrs. Cooper or, drummer what is it you get your name changed you should just get it changed to, to Hannah Cooper drummer Hannah Cooper drummer Cooper there you go you don't have to <laughs> Hannah Cooper drummer Cooper <laughs> <laughs> alright so that is it for now Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys really want it, maybe we'll do another Q&A uh, while we're away somewhere, like on our trips, just having a good time and sitting on the beach, ask a few more questions or something. And um, yeah, so have a good one. Make sure you follow all the social media if you don't already. And I'm so excited for everything. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for your support. Work hard, drum hard, dream big. Goodbye. here all right well let's get back to it so what's the first question Hannah <laughs> you can tell she's a little bit shy she's not used to the whole camera thing <laughs> you're not gonna post this this will go in the bloopers okay <laughs> I play drums I guess you guys probably know that I'm a singer yep she's a uh. singer and <laughs> I can't do it. Well, I can't. That's so awkward. What's so awkward? Insane. It's like, I mean, how do you feel? <laughs> That's how she feels. So. <laughs>